Happy Wednesday, everybody. This is Pastor David. Here we are at the Community Church of Mount Pleasant in my lovely office, and it is another beautiful day in Mount Pleasant. We just had uh, our Hot Dog Wednesday. We do that once a month, the third Wednesday of every month. If you missed it this time, you need to come out in June for our Hot Dog Wednesday. Our Classic's been doing this for a long time, and it is the best hot, hot dogs that you've ever had. It's really gotten to be a big thing here in Mount Pleasant. A lot of people come and sit down and eat with us here in the lobby and order their dogs and take them with them and take hot dogs to people at work or different things. So just a great Wednesday for us. We have a big night coming up. Uh, Wednesdays are always busy here at CCMP. Tonight is special. Of course, we have all our normal Wednesday things, our discipleship groups and praise team practice and all that. But tonight... We have VBS training. Miss Stephanie is just over the moon excited about VBS this summer. It's in July, and we're going to be talking about uh, some just really wonderful, special things. And tonight is, you know what, everybody loves VBS. Everybody loves VBS. You probably went to VBS when you were a kid, or maybe your kids went. And, and uh, we're going to have a big one this summer here. Miss Stephanie has training tonight. If you want to come and maybe volunteer be a part of VBS, come on, we'll find a place for you. But that's tonight. And uh, just a lot of exciting things coming up. This Saturday we have a work session at the CCMP Gardens. Miss Janet will have everybody uh, jobs to do, training and learning and growing. And then also a skating party Saturday morning. But uh, a lot of things. Now, this Sunday is a brand new series. We're excited. I won't talk to you about that in a minute, but Sunday night, I want you to come here to join us as we have a night of worship right here in our church, in our auditorium, where we have church on Sunday morning. And our praise team is just going to sing and worship. And our teenagers will be here, and it'll be a, a, a lot of energy. And I want you to come and be with us Sunday night for a night of worship. I know you're going to like it. And then uh, we have a, a trip coming up next summer to Israel. And we have a planning meeting in between services. We'll talk about our trip to Israel. But Monday night is Ignite. This is our, our uh, May night. And uh, if you've never been to one of these uh, training times for all of our leaders, volunteers, everybody's welcome. Supper at 6. Um, just a lot of things uh, going on in our church. And, and so I'm excited about that. But I, I want to talk to you about uh, the next two Sundays at our church. Today... This morning I got to go to the Mount Pleasant High School Senior Walk. And, and it was the first time I've ever gone, and it, this is a great activity. It's where the high school graduates have their cap and gowns, and they go to the elementary school, and they walk through the halls and greet all the kids, and then they come to our middle school, and they do the same thing at the middle school, and then they have a little parade uh, walk across to the, from the middle school to the high school, and they have a all the cap and gown and all of that and parents line up it's just a really exciting time and and it tells us that graduation is just around the corner and so we are very proud of our high school graduates not just at mount pleasant but all of the schools around many many people in our church go to different schools and graduations coming up and also college graduates as well so uh, I want to I want to talk to you about uh, a couple things coming up. The next two Sundays, I'm doing a series, and this series is entitled "Young Champions," and I prepare many many weeks, months, years in advance on this series, and and uh, we have two lessons, and one's about David the Giant Slayer, and one is about uh, three teenagers who took a stand for Christ. And see, I, I want you to know that a lot of times it's not old people. It's young teenagers, 20-somethings, that take a stand for their faith and for their God. And, and they have an impact on their home and their community and their church and their society. So um, I'm going to be preaching about that the next two Sundays. And I just want to say to our, to our students that we, uh, we're proud of you. And we, we are excited for you. And we expect, we're counting on you. And then we're here for you. I need you to know that. We need you to know that we're proud of you and, and we, we're here for you. And I, I, I have some exciting things to talk about in our church. Uh, we're building a program, developing a program called Navigate, and it is for, it will begin June 3rd, 
It's for people in our church ages 18 to 28. Boy, there's lots of different uh, people that, that are out of high school, that are in college, or that have jobs, and maybe have a trade, or out of school, and engaged, or just uh, just uh, single in society. And I, I'm very excited because the statistics tell us that a lot of people grow up out of church after high school, after they leave the youth group. And, and uh, boy, we're excited to have a place for these people to go. And, and many of them are young professionals and successful contributors to society. So I, I'm excited. And that kind of leads us into our devotional today. I want to read you from Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Perhaps you've heard this verse. And, and I really want to place an emphasis for the next two weeks as we get ready for graduation. We have Graduate Sunday, June 4th. I think, it, I think the number is up to 37 graduates this year that we're going to honor at a church service on June 4th. So, but anyway, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Listen. Remember now thy Creator in the days of your youth. I know you've probably heard that verse, but I want to talk about that for a minute. Remember now your Creator in the days of your youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Let, let me talk about that for a minute. You know, this, this verse says, Remember God while you're young in the days of your youth. Let me tell you what I think that means. Days of youth, I think that refers to an, an age, a time of innocence when the world has not yet got its tentacles around our children and, and, and around our, our students. And, and the older you get, the more you're exposed to things. And, and, and I tell you what I think it means, the older a person gets, I think the harder it gets maybe to come into a relationship with Christ. Because the older we get, the less innocent we become. So remember God while you're young. Statistics again tell us that the older a person gets, the less of those people come to Christ. But children while they're innocent and their minds are clear and they're not corrupted and, and jaded and skewed and, and they can that's the time to reach kids with with the gospel and with God and, and so they can build a relationship because many times if we don't get them while they're young it just gets harder and harder so remember God when you're young if children do not learn to know and remember the Lord, spiritual things, God, the percentages get lower as they get older, that they'll develop a relationship with God. So it, it's important that our children, teenagers, college students, learn to turn to Christ while they're young. And, and here's, let me leave you with this thought because this is what is concerning to us in this culture that we live in. The age of innocence for a child is getting lower and lower and lower. Because now with iPads and computers and TV shows and movies and internet, it's the days that children are innocent are becoming less and less. And I think that's why it's even more important. This verse, remember God while you're young. And, and it seems like a 12-year-old knows so much more now. They're exposed to a 10-year-old, an 8-year-old, a 6-year-old. Folks, it's important that we reach our kids with the gospel. While they're still innocent, their age of innocence, they have not been exposed because... Once our minds become exposed to the things of the world, it's harder and harder to, to reach. So, And then I want to close with this verse. Uh, per, again, perhaps a verse you know. Proverbs 22. And this is a, a great, important command to us. It says, Train up a child in the way he should go. 
And when he's older, he will not depart from that. I think that these verses that talk about our youth and our children and our teenagers, that's the time we have to reach our kids with the message of Jesus. The age of innocence is becoming younger and younger and younger. So, folks, you know it takes a village. We, we have to do our jobs at home as parents to surround our kids with safety and love and protect them. And, and as a school and teachers and, and sports and community, and then as a church, we will devote dollars and energy and volunteers. We have a, a, a very intense children's ministry here called Kid Men. We have a ministry to teenagers called The Tribe. And we're focused, we're intentional about reaching our kids while they're young. And so I want you to join us the next two Sundays. And if you cannot be here, you watch us online. I've got some things. I've got a message to our children, to our students, and to our adults about the importance of reaching kids while they are young. We're excited about what God's doing here. Thank you for letting me visit. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday.